Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today we're going to work through the problems on the Properties of Exponents worksheet. If you need a review before you get started, check out the Math Dogs video that will explain the different properties of exponents. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number one says, 2a to the fourth b to the fifth times 3ab squared. Since this is multiplication, I'm going to use the product property. The product property for exponents says, exponents with the same base, when you multiply them, you add the exponents together. So let's take it part by part. 2 times 3, since those are regular numbers, has always been and will forever be 6. Now I'm going to look at the base a. I have a to the fourth and a, remember when there's no exponent shown, it's a hidden one. So that's a to the first. I'll keep the base a and add 4 plus 1 and get 5. Now let's look at the b base. b to the fifth times b squared. I'll keep the base b and add 5 plus 2 and get 7. So my answer would be 6a to the fifth b to the seventh. Problem number two says 4x to the sixth y all raised to the third power. Since I'm raising a power to another power, I'm going to use the power property, which says if I raise one exponent to a higher exponent, I have to multiply those together. So I will have to raise every item inside parentheses to the third power, remembering there's a hidden one on the y. So first I'll raise the 4. 4 to the third power is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. Now I'll look at the base x. x to the sixth raised to the third power. I'll keep the base x and multiply the exponents. 6 times 3 is 18. Now I'll look at the y base. y to the first raised to the third power. I'll keep the base y and multiply 1 times 3 and get 3. So my answer would be 64x to the 18th, y to the third. Problem number three says 8a to the seventh, b to the third, c squared, divided by 2a squared, b squared, c squared. Since this is division, we are going to use the quotient property. The quotient property says to divide exponents with the same base, you subtract the exponents. So first we'll look at the 8 and the 2. 8 divided by 2 has always been and will forever be 4. Now we'll look at the base a. a to the 7th divided by a squared will keep the base a and subtract 7 minus 2 and get 5. Now we'll look at base b. b to the 3rd divided by b squared will keep the base b and 3 minus 2 is 1. Remember I don't have to write the 1, that's the hidden ones in math. Finally we'll look at the base c c squared divided by c squared. Well, they're exactly the same, which means they're going to divide to 1, or as some people say, they cancel out. So our answer would be 4a to the fifth b. Problem number 4 says m squared n cubed all raised to the 0 power. So since this is raised to the 0 power, we're going to use that rule. That rule says that any non-zero number raised to the 0 power equals 1. Since everything in the parentheses is being raised to the zero power, my answer would simply be 1. Problem number 5 says x to the fifth, y to the negative third. So in this problem, I have a negative exponent. So I'm going to have to use the rule for negative exponents. That rule says that we will take the reciprocal and make the exponent positive. So I would have x to the fifth, being multiplied by not y to the negative third, but 1 over y to the third. That's what the negative exponent tells me to do. We can look at this as fractions if you want to put the x to the fifth over 1 to make it clearer. When I multiply across the top, x to the fifth times 1 is x to the fifth. When I multiply across the bottom, 1 times y to the third is y to the third. So my answer would be x to the fifth over y to the third. Problem number six says a squared b all raised to the third power times 7ab to the third all raised to the second power. 
So there's two different properties in this problem. First, I'm going to have to use the power property. Then I'm going to have to use the product property. Similar to the order of operations, I would raise to a power first, and then I would do my multiplication. So first, I'm going to raise a squared b to the third power. Remember, I have to raise every item inside and multiply the exponents. So a squared raised to the third power, keep the a, 2 times 3 is 6. b raised to the third power, there's a 1 here, keep the b, 1 times 3 is 3. I'm going to put that in parentheses because I still have to multiply and use the product power. For my second part, I would have 7ab to the third raised to the second power. I'm going to have to raise each item inside. 7 squared has always been and will forever be 49. Now I'm going to have the a, 1 times 2 is 2. Then I'm going to raise b to the third to the second power. Keep the b, 3 times 2 is 6. Second step, I have to use the product rule. The product rule says keep the base and add the exponents. So again, here's another hidden one of math. 1 times 49 is 49. Now I'm going to look at my base a. a to the sixth times a squared. I'll keep the base a. 6 plus 2 is 8. Now I'm going to look at my b bases. b to the third times b to the sixth. I'll keep the base b, and 3 plus 6 is 9. So my answer would be 49a to the eighth, b to the ninth. So that's it. Some practice problems with the properties of exponents. Remember, if you need a review, Check out the other Math Dogs videos that will go through and explain each property. If you work on it and you practice, you're definitely going to get it. Remember, as we say at Math Dogs, you got this. Woo!